Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Name Tag from Agus Zhu. Uh, what is it? Basically, it's a clip-on name tag or it's a lanyard-worn name tag. Uh, it says, hello, my name is, and it can have your picture on there and your, and your name, and you're able to take it off and then use that device as your card reveal or your prediction. Uh, you wanna see what it looks like? This is it. So that was Agus Yu. Uh, you might remember uh, he did Cross. I did review that a couple months earlier. Uh, so a few questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, the first of which is, what's in the box? Uh, basically what's in the box, you're gonna get a 45 minute DVD, okay? And you're also gonna get the name tag gimmick itself. And you're also gonna get a lanyard that you can wear around your neck and the clip that holds the gimmick to the lanyard. You're also gonna get the cards, all right? You're gonna get cards. You're gonna get ESP cards that are both printed and uh, some that look like they're hand printed, like if you were gonna actually draw it yourself. And then you're also gonna get some prediction cards, uh, some reveal cards, uh, like just regular bicycle playing cards. And now this product is available in blue and red backed cards so make sure that when you purchase yours you're getting the bicycle back design that you use when you do card tricks all right so is it what i thought uh it's not really what i thought i'll definitely say that but i wasn't surprised um i have seen this style technology used on a lot of card tricks uh, or prediction effects that have been coming out lately. I can think of a couple off the top of my head, but I won't tell them to you because that would kind of reveal uh, how this is done. Uh, but it is, it is a technology that we're seeing, uh, but I didn't think it could be used in this manner, and it is, and so I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, how are the angles on this? Uh, you can't do it surrounded. You can't have people behind you. Uh, I would say this definitely works better with people who are seated or people that are in kind of like a semicircle in front of you. All right, so can it be inspected? No, it cannot. Uh, I would say maybe on the top of my head, like, oh, sure, they can inspect the name tag aspect, but they really can't because there's an element to the name tag that once they touch it, they're going to see or at least get a clue as to how you might have done it. So no, they can't take your name tag. And that might be a drawback for some people. Uh, and maybe some of the magicians have figured out a workaround for that. I don't know. You might want to put that in the comments below if you own name tag and you figure out a way for people to uh, inspect it. But, uh, but just as a comment, I would say no, they can't inspect it. What's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? It's completely well shot. Uh, you get lots of great angles, nice environments, uh, nice background music, uh, easily navigatable. Uh, it was a very well done, very well put together uh, DVD. Is it well made? The gimmick itself is completely well made. The, the name tag is strong, it's very durable. The lanyard is really nice, it's a higher end lanyard. Uh, the cards you get are all bicycle printed. And so I was very impressed with all the products and everything that you get with this effect. Okay, so how much practice does it require? Uh, it's gonna require some practice because there's some movements on here that you might not be familiar with. So there's, I'm not gonna say they're knacky moves, but they're funky, okay? So it's, there's a funky movement that you have to do and uh, I don't know that it's memory work, but I think it would work better if you did remember uh, 
uh, some things, if there was some memory work that you did, that you just, you know, because it's a prediction effect, and there's multiple outs. So you have to kind of remember where all your multiple outs are. I know I'm being vague, but I'm trying to not give away the effect. Uh, and so there's definitely some practice. You're gonna have to spend a lot of time with the gimmick and kind of learn the funky movement, <laughs> learn to make it natural, uh, and then kind of learn where to stop and start so that you can actually do uh, the revelations for this effect. How much setup and reset is there? There's none. Uh, the gimmick does all the work for you, the cards do all the work for you. So basically, uh, you know, you remove your prediction or, you know, if, you work, if you're going to swap tricks. But basically, you leave the prediction in your name tag the entire time. You never have to swap it out and you're instantly set to go from table to table or from group to group. So what are the positives to this? Positives to name tag, like I said, high quality gimmick, okay? The gimmick's going to last you forever and it's a very strong prediction effect, especially when you can have four cards on the table, four mental uh, prediction cards, four playing cards, anyone, and your spectator can literally, with no equivocate, no magician's force, they can select one card, change their mind twice, three times, four times, and the back of your name tag still reveals the card they would have picked. That's a strong, strong, strong effect. Hey, what are the negatives? Uh, just like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. You can't use normal cards. If you're thinking that you're gonna be able to adapt this to something that you already do, you're not gonna be able to. You have to use their cards for everything. You have to use their gimmicks. You have to use their forces, okay? So granted, you could force a card if you wanted to with your own deck, that's fine, but you still have to use the revelations that are already included in this effect. So you can't make your own cards. You have to use the pre-printed cards that come with this trick. Is it worth your money? Is it worth your money? It's 45 bucks. $45 is a very good price. Uh, not only because you're getting a good quality DVD, but you're getting a good quality gimmick. Uh, and so $45, definitely in the wheelhouse, definitely in the pocket, worth your money, pick up name tag. Who would like this? Any magician that gets hired out for a convention or a walk around or a seminar or a meeting or, you know, if you do corporate work, name tag is perfect for you because you literally are wearing a name tag that says, hello, my name is the magician that was hired out for this event, you know, and you can wear it through your whole routine and at the end, then use it as a kicker. Say, you know what? Hey, let's use my name tag. It works fluidly into the environment where you would need to use a name tag. I think if you're doing this for some other uh, venue where it doesn't make any sense that you're wearing a name tag, then this probably isn't for you, but this was totally built for anybody who does convention, walk around, corporate, or restaurant magic. All right, so that is Name Tag from Agus Zhu, and if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it on one of your favorite Murphy's Magic suppliers. Thanks, bye.